Okay, so this beautiful, amazing game has just released, and it is freaking beautiful. Look at the detail in this dude's hair. Like, there's no detail on his face, and he has the chest hair of a 14-year-old, but I mean his hair. Look how freaking realistic his hair is. Look at the detail on those nipples. That is some ridiculously detail. That's got more detail than my nipples. I've been playing this game for about 15, 20 minutes, and it is realistically the most beautiful thing I've ever played. I think Subnautica legit now is the second most beautiful game to exist, because this is just ridiculous. For God God's sakes, when you jump in the water, it gets all watery. That's just wild. I want to wait a day or two till servers are added, though, before I do a survival series, because I want to do it with Crisco and subscribers and stuff like that. It just sounds way more fun. So first, let's just check out some beautiful stuff that this game has, starting with the bosses. I gotta freaking see the bosses. I think my voice just cracked. It's very late right now. Leave a like on the video for the second coming of Ark Survival Evolved, and let's get into it. Also, no face cam today, because I'm incredibly sick. I'm sick as hell right now, but this game's just too beautiful. Dude, for starters, this game does- it doesn't even look real. It doesn't doesn't even look like a freaking game it's all way too incredibly beautiful it's like the like the mist ambiance and stuff like that is just gorgeous dude this is more realistic than real life okay first things first the brood mother this is exciting dude on the trailer the brood mother looks so beautiful i'm so excited to see what it looks like i can't wait to legitimately fight it myself but i'm impatient and i can't freaking wait that long oh my god my game crashed <laughs> what the hell whoa I'm flying back to the Broodmother. Look at this, dude. It's just a singular cloud existing in the sky. It's not even part of the weather pad. It's just you can literally fly into the clouds and it's cloudy. What's weird is I literally tested this out before and it worked just fine. I just quit the game before I got in there so I would make sure I was recording it. So it's not like it crashes every time. That was more just a weird issue that happened right there. I'm not sure why it happened, but I also don't really care. Look how beautiful this is. Good Lord, man. Whoa. And here we are. Holy crap. Look at this monster. It's so freaking beautiful. I mean, it's disgustingly unattractive. I wouldn't sleep with it for sure. But as like it stands, the whole detail in here. Look at this thing as it gets closer. Crapping balls at us. Just looking at this thing in great detail right now. It's disgusting little children. Whoa, dude, its butt is like thicker and jigglier than ever. That is jiggle physics. This is crazy, dude. It's like a legit kaiju battle now. Gnarly. The sex mods are gonna be disgusting. It's gonna be Conan Exiles 2.0, but this time the pubic hair are gonna have Unreal 5 engine detail. Flying around the Broodmother's area, checking out its disgusting spots super detailed and pretty all right buddy you're gorgeous but now it's time to go check out the other ones i get a general although those like those two big juicy fangs on the front of his face absolutely amazing i cannot freaking wait to fight and kill this thing but once again i want to wait till servers are added for public use in a day or two so i can do it with crisco and some subscribers because it's gonna be sweet oh man and then they feast upon you all sexy like Wow, dude, the detail. The map is so freaking different. I underestimated them greatly. I didn't think it'd be nearly this cool. I so much as doubted their greatness, but this is nuts, dude. All right, time to go check out the dragon. Sorry if this video is very all over the place and confusing. It's very late right now. This game just released, and I'm just so freaking excited to see what these things look like. I mean, for God's sakes, look at the leaves on the floor. Here we go. Oh, my God. This is its own freaking game right here. Whoa! This crap's on Skyrim a little bit now, not gonna lie. Look at it up there. It's glorious. This is actually wild. This is a crazy experience. I was like, no way is a freaking retexture, a reshade worth 40 bucks, a whole new game's price, there's no way. But now look at this thing descending upon us with fiery wrath. Oh, it still has that same deafening freaking dragon flap too that we all know and love. Holy crap, its wings look so shiny and glistening. It's so beautiful. Where's it going? Wow. You bet I'm bare ass naked with no chance of defending myself right now. Oh my God. It's so evil looking diabolical look at its face ah! 
Wait, I'm not playing naturally, right? I don't have to be afraid. I remembered. Ridiculous. With this amount of detail, I'm surprised they didn't give it a big pair of nuts. Even the fire looks crazy. That Unreal Engine 5 fire? Or is that the same fire as before and I'm just delusional? I swear it's bigger now too. I think everything's legitimately bigger. Maybe it's not, but most of the dinosaurs... No, it's definitely bigger, dude. This is so incredible. I feel like I could watch this forever. I legitimately could watch this for so long. Whoop! Watch out! Oh, God! Whoa, look at us on fire! We're all charred and burned! No way! That's crazy! That's so nuts. He killed us eventually, obviously. But look at that. You get charred and burned now? That's so awesome. Holy crap. All right, let's go check out that other boss. That was so cool, dude. Getting charred and burned. That was... Just ridiculous levels of realism I did not expect right there. And now for the monkey. I'm excited to see the monkey most of all because it's like hair. It's composed of hair in an Unreal 5 engine, so it's got to be crazy. All right, time for the ape. The Arctic looks pretty amazing too. Like there's specifically snow on top of the rocks and not under the rocks. Exactly how it would build up in real life, which is crazy detail I never even considered pretty stinking beautiful if you ask me all right let's get it on the snowstorm blizzards are amazing too you can't see anything in the freaking arctic or when you're on top of them or just right now specifically i'm trying not to speak too much because i have a really bad cold right now and i'll cough up like an animal passing the mighty ape statues into the domain of the ape oh gnarly let me get a look at this guy. Let me get a look at these feathers. These hairy feathers it's got on. Honestly, look at those. Individual hair strands for each of them. That's crazy. I thought it was going to be some goofy textured hair type thing. But those are legitimately distinct hair follicles for each of the ape hair follicles. That's insane. What about you guys? Oh, man. That's the ugliest face I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Gnarly. Holy Jesus. That is grotesque. That's insane. Oh my god. You sick bastard. I don't know. Wait, wait, it's, it's just so gross, dude. What, like, I never realized how evil this thing looks until they made it more beautiful or more detailed. And now it's like grotesquely the most ugliest thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Look at that face. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. That's a face not even a mother could love right there. That's a face that a mother would throw into a pit. If this dude was born in ancient Sparta, he'd be going in the baby pile 100% with a face like that. No way. Look at his teeth. His teeth aren't even touching. Look, everything about him is just a disaster. I am not disappointed at all by these bosses. They are freaking amazing. I'm amazed how beautiful this game is. These bosses are so freaking detailed. All right, it's time to go find other amazing stuff in this game. Leave a like for more Ark Survival Evolved, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>